if you deal with like hood or street niggas like me, then bitch, they is just, they don't give a fuck about, all they give a fuck about is self, 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 and what they can do for how they can use the next person to get to where the fuck they want to go. And that shit is draining. And I hope one of them motherfuckers is watching me because they get on my nerves. If it ain't one thing, it's another. And all they want to do is complain, 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 complain. And just want shit handed to them. All the time, don't want to work for shit. Don't want to do shit. But always want to complain. And then when they fucking up. All they got them do is brag about how they up. Well, bitch, while you was up, you should have figured out other shit to do while you was motherfucking up, bitch. Then when they down, all the world against me. Don't nobody care about me. Oh, I'm struggling. You don't want to see me succeed. You don't want to... Bitch, bitch, it ain't about always helping you out with money for you to fucking succeed, bitch. It's giving you good advice. It's telling you how to get away from motherfuckers who's keeping you down. It's me telling you what to do, how to move different so you can get where you want to be. But no, nah, you want to keep hanging out with your big homie. Oh, you want to put post up BOA, Chase, Truist. Y'all be posting up all these damn BOAs and Chase and Truist and you got all this money. But bitch, I never see you take the money out the ATM machine. I never see you buying new shit. But you always saying, oh, I hit for this. Oh, I hit for that. But then every time we turn around, bitch, you broke. Where the fuck is that Chase money? Where the fuck is that scamming money? Because bitch, you didn't fucking hit. Liar. Broke, bitch. And y'all just keep, oh, they just make me so mad. Make me so mad. But then you want to, then you wonder why you ain't getting blessed. Because, dummy, you stealing, stupid. You're stealing. You're stealing. What the fuck you think you're supposed to get? If you going and you doing Chase and you're doing BOA and all that stuff, but it ain't nobody money. Nigga, it's somebody's fucking money. You stealing. And then you wonder why you keep going to jail. Shit keep happening to you because you doing dumb fucking shit. Then when you get a little 200, you get a little thousand, then you want to blow it at the studio on that fuck ass sorry ass music. Can't even fucking rap. And your dumb ass friends is sitting there letting you go in the studio rapping and bitch your shit sound horrible and they ain't no real friend to tell you that the shit fucking suck. Now you done wasted $800 in the studio for a fuck ass song that ain't nobody gonna fucking hear. I'm not trying to rain on nobody parade or nothing, but I'm just trying to tell you what it is. And then you wanna post up with fucking weed. Oh, I got the weed. Oh, I got this. Well, bitch, if you smoking with your big homie and your big homie giving you the weed, then why can't the big homie help you when you need help? How you getting that money from big homie? Is big homie your big bitch? Is it fucking you? Then you want to hang around your homeboys all the time. All the time. But then when you need something, then your homeboys ain't got shit. Because all y'all niggas is broke. But then when you got people who really care about you, when you got folks who be caring about you, who want to see you do better, who tell you to get out the streets, who tell you to do this, who do that, are oh, you just complaining? Are oh, you just doing this? Are oh, you just doing that? But then when times get hard, you come running to the people who really cared about you, your mama, your cousins, your brothers, your real friends. But then you don't go running to them niggas who you was over there trying to scam with. You don't go running to the niggas because them niggas ain't got shit to give you because they in the same fucking boat as you. But then you want to come to us. Us, the people you turned your back on. The people you've been cussing out because we care. But then you want to come to us. When them broke fucking street niggas can't do shit for you. And we tried to tell your sorry ass that. Dummy. Oh, then they want to just wonder why their life is so hectic. Because you ain't doing shit right. You want to get blessed. Oh, I want to come famous. I want to come this. I want to do that. But everything you're doing out here is fucked up. Robbing, stealing, killing. 
just bullshit. You wonder why you in the same predicament every year, every year. Yeah, you might hit for a little 10,000. Yeah, you might hit for that, but because you ain't got no self-discipline, no fucking control, no common sense, bitch, you blow that 10,000 in two days trying to show out for fucking broke niggas. I ain't never seen a broke nigga try to impress another broke nigga. How that work? How that work? How that work? How that work? You walking around in designer clothes, but you sleeping on an air mattress. How that work? Shouldn't you have bought a bed first? You rather go in the street and impress your broke ass friends, but then you want to wake up with back pains on an air mattress. And if these bitches is fucking you on an air mattress, she dumb her damn self. That bitch stupid. Then she wonder why she pregnant and you don't want to give her no child support money because your broke ass can't even deal with you and her and her and that. Woo! Woo! Then you want to flex for an Instagram picture and put these fucking shoes on, making us think you got shit. Then we figure out you ain't got, you know the fuck what. I'm doing this. I be making this shit look good. Well, bitch, you need to make it good for real. Fuck making it look good. Don't that shit get tiresome? Making it look good. Fuck that. Do something to make it good. Oh, my God. If you see what you've been doing for two and three years ain't working, nigga, it's time to do something different. Bitch, you been doing the same fucking shit. Who the fuck wake up in the morning early because they want to go rob the post office mailbox? Who the fuck want to do that? You want to, oh, I'm going to go rob the mailbox at the post office. Nigga, you know how dumb you sound? Oh, I'm finna print out some fake checks. Bitch, what? Then when they get money, they spend it on fucking weed. What the fuck the weed gonna do for you? What is the weed gonna do for you? Get you high for a good 20 minutes because you smoke so damn much, you ain't even high for an hour no more. Then, bitch, 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 bitch. bitch. Am I okay? Yes, I'm being over dramatic. That's why the fucking that's why the fuck the damn title said I'm cussing. If you don't want to hear the shit, you shouldn't have came in. I gave you a warning. I said I'm cussing. Right now, I'm talking to bitches who relate to me. If you can't relate to what I'm talking about right now, leave and come back in a few minutes when I get this fucking watermelon and then we cut this watermelon open and I be on some old PG-13 shit. But right now, we on some street shit. I got all types of people who follow me. Hood niggas, street niggas, white people, Puerto Rican, Asian, Filipino, Guyanese, Chinese. But right now we on some hood shit. We talking about this hood shit. And if you don't want to hear this hood shit, then get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm mad at these hood niggas right now. Come back in a minute. I just did your other shit on the page with the Beretta. <laughs> And a fucking liquor. That was a kiki kaka. That was funny and cute. This some real hood shit. And these hood fucking niggas need to hear what the fuck I'm saying. Change one of their fucking lives around. You can't talk to them niggas, sweet. You talk to them, sweet. They don't even listen. It's okay. Life's gonna be great. Just do this. They, oh, yeah, you right, you right. You telling me some real shit. And then they go back in 10 minutes and they calling you for something fucking else. Don't you get tired of begging? Just, ah! You might as well be on the side of the street with the fucking people at the stop sign panhandling. You just made it more fancy. That's all you did. You just got on the suit and they don't. 
You making the shit look good. Might as well. They finessing, you finessing. They just real with they shit. Bitch, I'm broke. Give me 50 cents. Bitch, I'm broke. You got a dollar. What the fuck you doing is just saying I'm not broke, but bitch, you're broke. Might as well be with them. Everything they do, just lie, 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 lie. Sorry I had to be so rough on ya. <laughs> but it just, don't it get, don't you get tired? <sighs> no, I'm not giving nobody nothing. This is just, no, this is just me letting it out. Because I'm tired always trying to give people advice. And because you say no, they get mad and want to make you feel like you're not there for them. It's like you they done forgot all the times that you done been there for them. All the times that you've helped them out of situations. And people are just so inconsiderate and selfish where you help people so much. You could help somebody a thousand times and you say, you say no one time. You just don't give a fuck about them. You don't care. You a piece of shit. How could you? You just want to see me fail. Bitch, I helped you a thousand fucking times. But then when did you eat? Did you ever ask me when you were up? Did I need help? When you end up, uh, one of your licks did good and you made $10,000, did you ever say, oh, Zoe, or oh, Keisha, or whoever in the chat, whatever your name is, did you go to them and say, here's $100 for looking out me, looking out for me back then. Here's $200 for looking out for me back then. Here's this for picking me up when I didn't have a ride here. Here's this for helping me there. But now, but when your motherfucking ass is down, you want to keep coming back to the person who's always fucking helping you. But when they fucking say no, yo bitch ass out, oh, girl, I'm about to get mad. Girl, I almost punched this damn glass out my window. That's how God be feeling with. See, I'm going to church. Let me stop. That's how he be feeling with us. He be giving, 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 giving. Every day he wake you up. Every day you got lights in your house. You don't know how your bills is getting paid. Every day. But we never, ever, 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 ever want to take the time to just say thank you. When have you ever said thank you? It's always, oh, God, I need this. Oh, I need that. Oh, I need this. Can I have that? Why can't I be a millionaire? Why can't I? But you ain't never said thank you. Never gave up. Go to church. Never did. See, oh, they just treat you so evil people so hateful i'm not calming shit down if you don't want to hear it macintosh mick whatever get out before you get cussed out somebody need this because a lot of them follow me too and they want to always put the blame on somebody else Stop putting the blame on somebody and put it on yourself. What the fuck are you doing that is keeping you in that situation? Is it the people you hang around? Is it the choices you're making? Is it what you're doing? Why the fuck is you there? It's a reason. Stop saying, oh, the system is racist or all oh, this. Or people out there, yeah, racism is real. Yeah, people are some fucked up people. But sometimes it's you. It's your decisions, your choices. And then what are you doing in your life to get good karma, to get bad karma? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? If you ain't living right, then what the fuck do you expect shit to happen right in your life? How you gonna live evil and toxic and fucked up and doing people wrong and using people and fucking girls and hurting their feelings and lying to people and doing that, but then you want shit to go good for you, baby? It don't work like that. And then sometimes, like I tell people all the time, the devil will bless you in a heartbeat to make you think the way you're living is right. So some of them folks who getting that money and doing good and scamming and whatever the fuck case may be, and they living good off of drug money, baby, that's the devil blessing you to keep you in that rut that you're in. And then you wonder why all of a sudden that shit come tumbling the fuck down after 10 to 5 years. And you be like, God, what happened? What did I do? You just don't love me. God ain't real. No, bitch. The devil had your fucking ass trapped. And then he took it away. 
took it the fuck away because he's just as fucked up. And now you over here blaming it on Jesus and he didn't do nothing to you. He just sitting there like, hey, I ain't got nothing to do with it, sir. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with it. Those was your choices. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just so mad because I, I, like, I just, I took, cause I told somebody no, and then they said some real evil shit, like evil shit. I've been telling people no a lot lately, cause I'm usually just, I get it from my mom and my daddy. My mama, she, I, I growing up, she used to always just give like people money all the time. Like they'll ask her for money. She was like, well, so. If God blessed it to me, I can give it a fuck. I'm like, Mama, you don't see some of these people are using you because they know you're going to always say yes. And I'd be like, Daddy, they're all they doing that because you always going to say yes. I will always say that to them. And look at me now doing the same shit, just helping. Because I'm like, God blessed me to be in the position I am. And then I'd be helping folks. But to be honest, it's like I'm helping the wrong people. That's why I paid my mama more. I need to be paying her more. People who look out for me. And then when you don't help folks, they think you're selfish and they think you're better than them. But bitch, when you do give them shit and then you don't, you say no, they don't give a fuck no more. They all, you dish, you that. They gonna just run to the next person. Oh, sometimes you give to the wrong people. That's why God ain't even giving to them. He just give them life. Hoping that they fix it and get it together. This is all you can get right now, baby. Because if I give you something, you ain't even gonna know how to handle it. So just, I'm giving you life until you get your shit together. Because you don't, you ain't ready for what I can give you. You need just this. A wake up and go to sleep. Because, bitch. Huh. <laughs> And they don't even see that. They don't even see waking up as he gave you something. He could have easily said, fuck it. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Bye. You don't care about shit. Go, go on. Clock out. Y'all don't think about that. He could have easily just said, you ain't waking up today, baby. <laughs> I'm tired of waking you up. All you do is complain anyway. You complain, use folks, whine, holler. Good night. Go to sleep. You don't care anyway. Woo! They lucky I'm not him. Or his light. Because, baby, I would have tapped a couple of y'all up out of here. I would I would have tapped a couple of y'all up out of here. The first time you complain. All right. Gone. Dead. It's all right. Less thing I got to worry about. I get all these prayers every day. Every day. Somebody whining. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I just wish people could see. Just, ooh. People just don't get. It's not always about somebody giving you something physically. Giving you advice and, and, and leading you in the right direction is way more than money. That money can be spent in five, 0.1 second. That money can be spent. It can be stolen. You could drop your wallet. That money don't mean shit. But some, some advice, some good advice that somebody gives you or motivation that somebody gives you, that shit can go for a lifetime until you die. If you use it properly, if you store it in your file, in your head, and just live off of it and say, hey, that was some good shit you told me. I'm going to keep going. Like, I was talking to one person the other day, and he was like, I don't like talking to people because when I'm down and I'm talking to folks, if um just talking to them, hell, I'm still going to be down. It ain't, it, it, that didn't fix the problem. Yeah, it didn't fix the problem, but somebody might see a situation different from you. And when they see that, because sometimes when you're in a situation, 
You don't see clearly because you're in it. All you're focusing on is the problem. You're focusing on, I'm in this situation. I'm fucked up right now. Fuck this shit. I got to figure out how to get out of this. So you're mad. But when you got somebody who's not in it or who has been through it, they can tell you some stuff and you can be like, you know what? I didn't even think about it like that. Thank you so much. And and then just having somebody to talk to and to listen to your problem. Yeah, it may not have fixed it, but it can help you release it. Because releasing that um, malice and that hurt and that hate can make you think clearer and relax and just breathe and understand it's not fixed yet, but I, it's going to get fixed. Thank you. And then the stuff they tell you, you use it and you apply it to your life. And then you go, because every day you're going to get in another situation or that situation might occur again. And then you can be like, you know what? I figured it out last time. I can figure it out again. That's the stuff I be trying to teach people when I'm talking to these hood ass niggas on the street. And I feel like sometimes that's why I'm so attracted to them because I want, I have my problem, my toxic problem is I be feeling like I can help everybody. That is a good thing and it is a bad thing. I be feeling like I can help everybody. I can help people see the good in life no matter what you're going through because I've been there when I was battling with my sexuality, when I felt like I wanted to kill myself, when I felt like my shit was like, I was crying every night. God, please make me straight. I don't want to go to hell. I want my mom and dad to love me. I want to give them truth. Like I was just, it was a lot going on. I just felt like my life was just fucked up. Then... You got tired of people saying, oh, you want to be a girl. You just got tired of all that until I just realized, Zo, your life is meant to be lived and you're meant to be supposed to be happy. And then like when I was working at Starbucks and I saw my sister graduate from college, my brother graduate from college, I'm like, Lord, what did I fucking do wrong? Everybody else done graduated. I dropped out of college. He got this. She got that. They doing good. My cousin, he went off to college and now he became an engineer and boom, boom, boom. So I felt like I was just a black sheep. I was horrible. Everybody's life was good. Girl, helping to cry. Calm down. It was just a lot. And it was a lot. Then my brother was doing singing, my sister physical therapy, my mama graduated. It was just a lot. And you just felt like you were just here. It felt like you were here just a, a disappointment and something said zo you fuck it work 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 no matter where you're working if it's starbucks bitch work so then my cousin told me about vine i got on there didn't know shit about no fucking money i didn't know shit about money you can make money off social media i started working my ass off then i met them white dudes they was like oh dude you're funny you got a million you can make money come up to la fuck with us i came up there i, took, I got away from my friends i got the fuck away from my friends i said look y'all i just can't hang out with y'all no more because we was out this likes to smoke weed we was smoking weed we was drinking we was going to the club we was dressing our asses off bitch i was just spending my starbucks money on fucking weed and clothes trying to impress other broke motherfuckers bitch i done went up to la bust 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 my ass and bitch look at me now sometimes you have to figure out what is the problem and the problem was me standing in my own fucking way judging myself trying to impress other people because other folks was winning and i'm wondering why the fuck they winning and why the fuck do i not have what they have and bitch it was just me we all have a purpose we all have a purpose we all have a purpose and it's just